The School of Sanctuary is an award that is given out to schools and it's recognition for their school and learning environment being a welcoming and safe place for asylum seekers and refugees. So I want Kenton School to get that award. So the School of Sanctuary Committee currently consists of sixth formers and that's because I delivered some assemblies in November that addressed issues around asylum seekers and refugees and straight away I had sixth formers come to me and say I want to do something to make a difference. I want to be able to help in some practical, proactive way. Well we'd all spoken to each other about the refugee crisis before and we all wanted to do something to help and to be involved. I think that racism is still a problem in Kenton School. I think that there are a very, very small minority of students who do hold racist beliefs. And it's our job as a school to try and tackle those beliefs, to try and find out where they come from, and to do things to try and stop them believing those ideas. Because you shouldn't treat somebody any differently just because of the country that they're from, or because of the colour of their skin, or because of their religion. I think racism is quite a strong word. And remember, we're dealing with very young people. We're dealing with people from 11 to 18. I think there are times when students make inappropriate comments and make um, decisions um, based on ignorance. We was living uh, in peace, normal life, everything normal. It was a great country. On a cold winter's night, it's one of hundreds of squatter settlements scattered throughout Lebanon. Hundreds of yards of military positions have been carved out of the wreckage of homes. Until the war ends, Syria will go on exporting The people here have received no help at all. Who's a movement that was on the call for democracy? Did nothing but what they can carry on the move. When the war came, everything started to be dangerous. Many fightings, many problems in all areas inside Syria. Many people lost their work, many people lost their relatives. Uh, I was so sad uh, to leave uh, my friends, my uh, relatives, my school and uh, my country, which means to me everything in my life. The life in the camp was so difficult, uh, many different between Syria and Jordan. Uh, for example, uh, I was living in house, then I lived in tent. My uh, experience to Newcastle, it was one of kind. Uh, it was uh, interesting and I bought many ideas for my future here, especially for my education. Also, I am grateful to UK and to the countries which welcome the refugees because they give them a new opportunity to complete their life. When something goes, like a terrorist attack or something happens, the media likes to portray it as all Muslims and they're very negative towards anyone who follows like Islam but really it's a very 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 tiny majority who probably shouldn't even be classed as Islam because it's not following the real religion. I think they have negative attitudes towards Muslims just because what they see and what's based on Muslims, what's on the media currently, they just want to follow the crowd, they want to be like everyone else. I cannot say all the, be uh, the, all the refugees are good people because in any community you, uh, you can find good people and bad people. They are normal people and but their uh, circumstances are different so uh, they need help and support. And I think it's really important especially with the younger people because they will be the people in the future educating others so they need to get that point across. It's our job to educate the children that what they may be saying or how they may be operating could be interpreted as racism. It's something that we need to work with the children to educate the children when these opportunities arise. One of the things that happened which was very recent whenever I done the assembly was whenever I went into Tesco's in Kingston Park 
And I walked in and my mum wears a headscarf and the guy was like, these are the people we want in the country, they're all causing all the problems. And it's the fact he said that and we were standing right there. And it really upset me because if it was a younger person who was younger than me, I would understand maybe they got it from home or from a friend and I can talk to them about it. But it's the fact that it was someone between their 40s or 30s. And it really upset me because why would you say that when you know, and you can see like my little sister's there, my brother is there. When there's like a family, why do that? Because you don't know what's actually going on. They're just judging you based on other people's doings. And it's about reminding children what's acceptable. And we think about Kenton School, our motto is all different, all equal. And, and we've got to sort of make sure that's immersed through everything we look at. Um, but it's through education. But by accepting at times we hear these comments and we see those behaviours, then that gives us some way to, to address it. By ignoring it or saying, oh, it would never happen here, we're never going to have the opportunity to address it. People need to understand that having immigrants isn't a bad thing. Like, just like others have been saying, there is good and there is bad in everyone, every single group, in every single religious belief, there's always the good and the bad. So you can't really judge people based on what's, which one is which. I think now is a good time to ask younger students to come and join us and to try and help us do things like fundraise for refugees, do some awareness raising activities such as making posters or delivering assemblies or PHSE lessons about these issues. We're always trying to raise awareness and help other people learn the facts and not have a misguided opinion so if anybody does want to come along and learn something new or help out then come to Miss Griffiths room on a Tuesday after school.